Hello guys, I'm Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. This is the sixth video in the Databricks free edition series. And you can see what are the videos that I have already created before. In this video, let's go through the Databricks assistant, right? As the name suggested with the, with the evolvement of many assistants, Databricks no doubt has their own assistant to guide us in the journey of learning implementing and all sorts of things inside the databricks space this is the ui this is the sixth video if you are new to the channel please follow the videos i have already uploaded and consider like share subscribe to help or encourage me to create more videos in the future before going into the ui and seeing what databricks assistant is about let's go to one of the blog posts from Databricks. This is a blog post from July 2023, two years already almost. You can see there is this Databricks assistant or context aware AI assistant. The thing here is you can see this is the assistant or context aware AI assistant. So I think this is good to know that it is context aware meaning that with with all all other sorts of ai assistants which are there many right now you need to provide context this one is inside databricks meaning it knows your data databricks notebooks sql editor and file editor it's natively available you can generate sql code or python code transform the code autocomplete code and explain the code or query you can fix issues and so on right but this is two years old blog post right what i want you to do is always maybe let's say that we go for databricks assistant in the normal google search and you can see there are many blog posts or uh, documentation there but i want you to always go with maybe past month or past year to see the latest advancement because with the in involvement of ai assistant there are many additional functionalities there you can see there are many posts here go with the officials one so what's new with the databricks assistant it's 22 october right and then here you can see there is all sorts of things i, I add the rate I'm mentioning the tables it was not there before and assistant uses logs diagnosing job errors assistant quick fix and so on you can just add the rate and have all sorts of things so it's already providing context Users can now directly add the rate, mention tables in prompts to improve responses. Upon hitting add the rate, users will be provided these things, right? On the right side, users can see the full directory. Go through this soon. You can see inline improvements. Select this part of the code and there is a assistant already there for you to ask. And the assistant uses locks. You can view the uses locks from here. Not Everything might be available in the free edition. Admins and managers can track adoption engagement with the new system. Assess this this each row in this. So this is the introduction before implementing into the UI. But now let's go into the UI. This is the Databricks UI. Let me make this bigger also. First thing, as this is focused on assistant, I want to show you where assistants are because Databricks has come up with all sorts of places where we can have the assistant landed in the Databricks page. On the top right corner, you can see there is this small icon and that is the Databricks assistant, which says ask assistant questions about your data. How do I create notebook? How do I create a new query? How do I upload a table? You can even ask from here, uh, all sorts of things. And you can see here there is add the rate for the objects or for commands. So you can do the slash and it can see find tables, scratch pad and so on so there is also the description find tables of the query create a scratch pad code here right and if you do add the rate as it suggests in the documentations also you can see there are different tables and you provide context for that table in the last video i uploaded this titanic data set what is this data set all about so this is the simple question I can say. I don't need to know what the data is all about. It says, okay, the data set, this is this, contains the information about passengers on the Titanic, the columns, this, 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 and you know now what all the columns are all about and, and the description for that column also. Why this is helpful? You might be onboarding to some projects. You don't 
you want to know what the data set is all about before starting to explore it so this is kind of exploration already but you can just go here ask the questions and you can even give thumbs up thumbs down everything because this is helpful i hope you get the idea already how helpful it might be and then there is also the citation this is really good because it's taking the context from that particular table it's also possible to ask not only from the tables you have in databricks you can go outside also you can say what is databricks assistant databricks assistant is an ai based peer programmer designed to enhance efficiency in creating notebooks dashboards and files within the databricks environment and you can read this but the good part now i went into the google and search for databricks assistant and i went there and i showed you you can already see citations if i go here it says what is databricks click this and it will take you to the what is databricks page this is from the documentation itself now it's directly pointing to the databricks assistant uh, documentation it's good that you can follow everything from there you can go into the in text citation also which is only one citation here but in each of the sentences it is showing where it is taking from i hope this is clear now right now let's close this if you go to these three dots you can have this as a docked version it will appear here when you navigate let's say, let me see i want to go to catalog but it's still here right so this is a small docked if you open this in the bigger one it will be whole size for example if i go here on the side it will be on the whole side it's still there if i navigate to different pages also but it's small and just sitting on the bottom right corner i can see the history settings i send feedback to databricks and there is the help section already there and if you want the new chat then you can just click plus and there is the new chat this is good i can close this one that is where we can view the assistant this is the main page now let's go to the notebook before the notebook i want to show you the catalog if i go to the catalog and i went here and if i go maybe inside one of the table titanic right if you already see in the ui it is providing the description ai suggested description i haven't provided any whenever you upload the data into the databricks it will suggest the description so you can see the database contains data related to passengers if you want to edit you can just click edit and then edit here you can sort of translate and so on and it is saved it will take some time update it the server list the starter warehouse has started under the hood because when you do something there should be a compute under the hood it is saving okay now it's saved it took some time now we have the descriptions one additional thing which maybe you have already seen is ai generate ai can suggest comments for the columns this is really good because in the next videos i will show you how we can create uh, assistance on top of our own data set so you can see on the left side there is this jenny it's helpful when you have comments in the column yes you can write it yourself but then there is always ai to help you i think these kind of things are helpful to be using uh, the help from the ai assistant because if i just say ai generate and now you can see for all the columns it is going to generate a comment and you can edit if this is not correct you can see it's providing all the different things here you can just edit if it is not correct i can say save all now you have a table description you have the comment for each of those columns so in the future if you if somebody else comes here okay this is the table this is the comment for each and every column because that is the most challenging part when you work in the in the company and you have you haven't seen that data set this is the titanic data set so you have been playing around with this but if it's completely new data set then it is really helpful to know what the data set is all about because we have the data set but we don't know what the column is all about because in one column it can be different the same data set referred in another project is different so we must be coming up with some solution let's have common descriptions and so on so it's helpful right there are many things to explore but you get the point 
you can see now that you can even add tags you can even create a column mask and so on you get the point you can do all sorts of things from here that is another part of the databricks assistant if i go to the workspace i will go to one of my dvfs table or the notebook that i showed you in my previous videos and now here there are assistants in many places right so on the left side if you see there is one assistant sitting here i can click this and it will be opening on the sidebar similar like before you can close click again it will disappear and now let's go into the cell itself you see the ai databricks assistant if i go here you can see in the jupyter notebook style there will be code there will be a text for the markdown now databricks <laughs> they come with this good solution it is assistant already there you can click this one and now it's there and you can ask the questions whatever you want to do and you can even go here and change the language and ask questions again you get the point there is another possibility i can cancel this i don't need this i can delete it from here so that was in, in between the cells right when you create the code text markdown now let me go into this last one to show you the code cell let's say i am in this code cell when i click inside it you can see there is assistant there to help you you can click this one you can ask what whatever it is now what i can do here because now it is showing me all the table and columns right now let's say i want to go here and display just the male passengers above 50 years old and enter now you can see here it is saying here this is the original one read data from this right df titanic read all from this 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 where sex equals to male and age is greater than 50. now you can reject it regenerate it continue in the main chat or you can accept if you accept it it's there now run this run cell run selected text run all above run all below but if you click this icon here it will run this particular cell we should see that filter being applied it should show male passengers who are greater than 50 years of age it's still running you can see here and if you go into the age and sex column there is male 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 and greater than 50 that is how you can do the filtrations and so on. this is the notebook now we can even go into the sql editor if i go into the sql editor we can do the same thing so you can see this select all from titanic 10 that was what i showed you in my last video now there is also this assistant just sitting there to assist you you can just click this one the same assistant in multiple places so you don't need to go from one place to another and i can go here and say the same thing why should we ask the same thing let me first run this if i run select all from titanic 10 i will see the data set then i can go here and ask some questions just show me the p class one passengers right you can see select all from i will run this it will just show me the p class one passengers this is the simple sql script when i'm using it in my day-to-day -day work one thing is the same sql script does not work for multiple places so you can take help to guide you in writing sql scripts and one thing now is let's say that i somehow forget to type c there and i run this one it will not work because there is this spelling mistake right it says a table or view not found there is already a diagnose error here i can click this one it will open a new tab and it says you forget this see uh, there is a typo and now it provides you this code and i can say okay replace this it is replaced by that and i can run this this is helpful because things in code there might be a mistake we are humans we make mistakes this might help because i have been in situations where you forget the semicolons or something and you are debugging for hours it might happen at some point these are things where the assistance might be helpful i have explained all sorts of things here the good part is you can ask it to explain which i this is all 
good I want to show you if you select this part and there is again the assistant just sitting there right so there is this you can create a comment for this it says here just the uh, selection i can select you can select the piece of the code and ask it to explain that particular piece there are many ways you can take assistance i might be even missing some of the things because there is all the things appearing here and there i want to show you that not all these things might be appearing in your ui uh, if not go to settings there are many things you can enable yourself go to this development not the development but the advanced one so here there are many things which you can enable and disable things and another thing is also if you go to this developer things in the user this is the admin workspace admin this is the user go to this developer and here there are all sorts of things so for example if i close this and search for assistant you can see there are many assistants so automatic assistant auto complete if i just turn this off it will not provide me that because not every time you need to be uh, having this auto complete and if i go to the next one there is assistant quick fix do you want that you can enable if not you can disable that also and auto fix in chat so here you can see assistant will attempt to explain and fix your core errors in the side panel this is off now so you can if you want you can just on this also and then it will do the task uh, for you so this is where you can enable or disable all sorts of things that's all i wanted to show you in this video i hope now you get to know what is databricks assistant and how to take help from the databricks assistant in order to assist your task in the databricks itself thank you for watching and see you in the next one